if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sins, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the Jets. It is February the 1st, 2024, and today the topic is, all you need is love, all you need is love, all you need is love, love is all you need. Or at least the all you need is love part. Um, Yeah, man, all you need is love. I find it quite ironic now um, that it's February 1st and um, the Lord already got me thinking and talking about love and everything. Um, You know, I can't say that there's anything too, too um, significant to share in regards to the inspiration. All I know is um, I was up rather late slash early this morning um and then by the time i listened to the prayer meditation um and i went back to sleep by the time when i woke back up all you need is love was on my heart and mind and that phrase and so i looked into it and here i am you know um as for yesterday let me think anything of significance to share um i don't think so trying to think um I don't know if I um did a interview for GSL yesterday um I think so I think I did do one um I think the other one got canceled um I did have my meeting with the Griffin Opera House and that was really cool um a lot more than expected it's on the table, whatever it is. So I'm like, Lord, okay, all right, well. <laughs> so um, I don't know the, the day count now, but yeah, next Saturday is when the show is putting on or going going up this new show. And so everybody's excited. They're excited. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, we're going to see what the Lord do. Um, <laughs> I got my final piece of my costume yesterday, or at least I opened it or whatever and um it's this wig or whatever the case may be because I was going to get my hair done um in a style but one I want next time I make an appointment I want me and my son to go um and it seemed like there was no dates available before the show day and then also um you know the the expense um you know it was cheaper for me to get the wig than to (laughs) you know get my hair done or whatever so I was like well let me just do that for the show and then Maybe I get my hair done after the show. But anywho, so I tried on um, the hair yesterday, and as soon as I put it on, it's so funny because uh, I, I really wonder what life is like from the perspective of my son and my husband. Because, like, you know, from my point of view, basically, like every other month, I'm like you know, coming up with some character, I'm getting dressed and all this type of stuff. My son, as soon as I get dressed in the character, um, and then if I start talking in that character and stuff, he automatically um, starts, you know, interacting with me in character and as the character and things of that nature. Um, And he just seems to love the character so much. (laughs) Um, And then my husband, like I said, I, I, you know, first put on a wig or whatever, and I'm going around in his office, and he's just sitting there at his desk, and I, so I walk in and, and acting in character and stuff, and I'm like, I wonder what this is like from your point of view, like, <laughs> like, are you just used to it now at this point, or is it always kind of like, this is the woman I married, like, I, I just truly wonder sometimes, um, and then after that, I went and um, tried on my whole costume, and my son was like, oh, you look epic <laughs> it, it's just amazing all the different stuff he says or whatever and but anywho so that that was another little cute moment of significance yesterday as well um 
But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this conversation, y'all. All you need is love. Um, and let's see what the Lord has to share through a little on me. So here goes some verses, y'all. First John 4 and 8, it says, anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. Um, you know, I, I really don't think we understand like what it means, this concept of being separated from God. Um, you know, that's what we have been taught that hell is um, alongside this fiery place and all that other type of stuff um, and the lake of fire and all this stuff, all of that. But um, again, if God is love, then us being separate from God we don't know what that truly is like, right? Because even for, for people that, for example, walk around and they say, hey, I don't need God and all that type of stuff, you still are living in the blessings and grace and mercy of the God that we feel like we don't need, you know? Um, again, that Bible verse, I got to go find it again one of these old days, but coming across that verse that was pretty much reiterating that if God just take his grace, his breath, whatever the case may be away from all of us, like we just would not survive. Um, you know, it's like he could just take it in an instance, you know, um, I, I don't have to find that verse one day again, but uh, regardless of that. So when I, I guess when I think about this whole love thing, right, this, this whole, if we don't, love then you don't know god i mean you know i i guess what i'm receiving is that we wouldn't be capable of any type of good without love without god um you know i know my husband was telling me something um evil that happened yesterday um from his knowledge um, he mentioned that uh, apparently there was a mayor or some type of government official or something like that, governor probably, um, where his son apparently decapitated him. And not only that, but went live and was talking about it, even holding up the head and things of that nature. Um, and, you know, as he was telling me about it and as, you know, um, I was talking to one of my friends when he was telling me, so I ended up having to tell her about it because she was like, what's going on, you know? And as I was listening and hearing that and sharing what had happened, and even in this, in this moment as I talk to you, right, um, can we imagine the amount of, like, like there, it just seems like there might be no drop of love, remorse, or anything in this individual to be able to do that, right? Not only did you kill your father, but you decapitated him. And you're going live and sharing and, and, and ranting and showing the hand and all this different type of stuff. Like, I didn't see that, that video for myself, so I don't know. And we all can go and confirm that that's the real thing or whatever the case may be. I wouldn't say that my husband would come out and come lie to me or whatever. But what I'm saying is that um, I think that is an example of not having any type of love in your heart and mind. Like, you ha I don't feel like that individual is all there um, in order to do such evil, you know? Um, and so it's just something to think about. I mean, uh, you know, again, I'm just like, what does not having love look like and not knowing God and things like that? And to me, that's what it kind of looks like, that it looks like evil without remorse. It looks like you know, uh, I guess only being selfish, not cons being considerate of others and things of that nature. And so, but anyway, let me go ahead and keep going. So first John four and seven, it says, beloved, let us love one another for love is from God and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. So again, um, you know, in spite of, cause I, I know, again, we're talking about the situation um, my husband was saying something about, I guess the guy was ranting about, you know, I guess the current administration and it, I guess what he feels like is wrong or whatever the case may be. And even if you feel like you're doing whatever you're doing for a noble cause or whatnot, like still, um, you know, how did you show love to your father in that moment? How are you showing love to other people to get online and, and, and do such things? You know what I mean? Like, you're not being considerate of what that could do to others and what you have done to others. Um, 
and again, this is just one example. I'm not sitting here just trying to, I guess, talk so much about this gentleman because again, I have not seen the video. I'm just hearing about, you know, all the things. But what, you know, I'm again when I'm thinking about what does it look like to not have love? What does it look like to not operate in love? Um, you know, again, I don't, I don't believe that was a great example of loving one another um, and things of that nature. So, and, which is what the Bible is calling us to do: love one another. Um, speaking of that, let's keep going. First Peter uh, 4 and 8, it says, above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I guess this might be juice or pulp, depending on, again, how you feel and where you are spiritually. Um, I guess the good news is even that gentleman can be saved. He repents. If he turns to Christ, if he starts to live um, a, you know, uh, life that reflects uh, who God created him to be and things of that nature, even he can be saved um, and things of that nature. And we might not like that we because we want justice. You know what I'm saying? We don't like knowing that, uh, I guess, or well, some of us, it seems like we don't like knowing that, oh, this person is going to get away with murder, as they say, you know. Um, but at the same time, you know, if it was us, right? that needed that grace and mercy, I think, you know, again, not only would we uh, want it and appreciate it, but, you know, uh, it's like we expect it, right? And I, we're just so entitled and things like that because God is just, you know, continuously good and merciful that we just think there's going to be no consequences for our actions and things of that nature. And so, um, anyway, again, I hope we're encouraged and inspired to keep loving one another earnestly, like the Bible was telling us to do. Um, because yes, love covers a multitude of sin. I got one more verse before the Bible verse of today, and that is First Corinthians 13 and 13. It says, So now faith, hope, and love, or uh, let's see, or of these three, you guys go and go and um confirm the word and, and that, but after the word after love, um, it could be abide. Abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. So um, again, in, in faith and hope and love and things like that, we, we know and see that, again, love tends to be the greatest thing. We believe that God is love. Um, so that's a whole nother thing as well. Um, you know, I'm reminded as I was writing down um, everything this morning of this um, I guess one of these memes or this little thing that people had created um, that's like a, a art image that shows like a person that has all these different things in their basket and then they have the person next to them that's holding just Jesus and the person that has all the multiple things is like oh that's all you want and the, uh, the gentleman that was holding um, you know uh, the package that said Jesus he was saying this is all I need ultimately uh yeah, we may not believe that, right? We might need, think that we need all the things, um, but just like how um, Solomon asked for wisdom, right? Um, we can see that God gave him more. He gave him like every other desire um, from the one request of wisdom. And so I feel like it's the same when we uh, accept Christ, right? Um, all other beautiful things can come, right? Uh, we can get all the rest of the things if we accept um, the gift that God has given us. And so I guess the answer is, yeah, all you truly need is love. And so that's the juice this morning. And I hope that you guys are encouraged and inspired. There's a few verses in the Go Deeper section that you can peruse and let marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. But the Bible verse of today is Mark 3 and 25. It says, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand, friends. I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. You're the little of inspiration and juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Get ready for an exhilarating experience like never before. 
Join New Bethel AME in Lithonia, Georgia for a cruise to worship, an event that blends the thrill of car enthusiasm with the spirit of worship. All are welcome to rev up your engines and hit the open road and come together in fellowship. So save the date, February 18th at New Bethel AME in Lithonia, Georgia, Cruise to Worship, where faith and engines unite.